today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I am a cruelty free YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. But today I'm doing my fourth update on my no buy and I'm also doing a haul. And you are maybe asking like, how is that even possible? <laughs> but we will get there. So it is also a first impression today. I'm going to use a palette that I bought in December from LH Cosmetics. This is the new Golden Twenties and this palette looks like this. So nothing special, nothing super fun and bright and I don't know. But this was like the only palette I didn't have from LH Cosmetics and in December it was half off. So I was like... I buy it but I haven't tried it until now so I think that says a lot so this is going to be one of my updates I'm going to talk about my no buy and uh, we'll see how it will go so I will just prime my eyes so I don't really know <laughs> what to do with this palette but I think I will use these Four maybe so take this one and this one in my crease and I take this one and this one on my lid uh, maybe I will just start so maybe just a little like recap if you haven't I have a glass of Pepsi here um recap but about my no buy I decided in November, December, that I was going to try to have a no buy this year when it comes to makeup and skincare. And I do track this and I post it. I'm trying to post it weekly on my Instagram, but if I'm going to be honest, it's not going super great with that. But at least once a month, I am saving my no buy tracker in one of my um, insta stories i have a story like low by no by 2022 and i my no by includes skincare and makeup with everything else in life like clothes and shoes and uh, jewelry i do shop whatever i want and why you might ask it's because the main problem that i have had during last year and especially in the end of last year was that i was buying too much makeup so i just thought it was really it was not that fun anymore for me to sit down and do my makeup because all I could see was all the unused palettes I had and everything that needed to be tested out and I didn't feel like I got the use out of my makeup and then I decided yeah let's do a no buy when it comes to makeup and in this no buy I do include like refills and that is some of the things that i bought and uh, i still have tracked it as a no buy because yeah we will get there uh, when i will show you what i bought but so yeah that is the reason why i'm doing this no buy and also that i want to save more money because me and my boyfriend, we want to buy a house and prices for houses in Sweden and especially in the town that we live in. It's just crazy. We are one of these people like when we buy a house, we don't want to spend all the money we have on the house. We want to still have some money left if something happens with the house or yeah, just try to live as we do now. It will never be possible though because our rent is it's cheap and uh, we know that but we want to have money left so not like put all our money in a house and we're not also like willing to 
spend super much and I guess that is the reason why we are not getting a house because we are maybe economic economical economic so yeah that's the the main reasons for my no buy but then when it comes to refills I've actually bought some things and just remember that it's April or it's May now so some things are going to I need to buy some new things and I do really like these colors I have used this one and this one so if we start with things that I have not included in my no buy because I have never had a problem with that like hair care and um, like body products so the things that I've bought in that area is I bought a new shampoo and conditioner I bought a new hair mask, a new dry shampoo, a new heat protection and also a new shower creams did I say that? I don't remember. So that I have bought and I'm not counting it because I do need the shampoo. I'm not one of these people that can manage to not use shampoo for a year. So I do need my shampoo. And then to the makeup. Is it maybe strange to do a whole video during and get ready with me? I don't know, but it's things strange on my channel yes it is so the things that I've bought as refills when it comes to makeup and skincare I didn't count them as a purchase in my in my tracker and I think I want to maybe put on I have a template from I can never remember her name. I can leave it down here. Uh, I got it from Instagram where I take my template from. But I would really like one that is like a replacement. Because I don't think that the replacement is the same thing as buying something completely new. So the things that I've bought <laughs> that I have to replace when it comes to makeup and skincare is things that you can't have forever. I did buy two new mascaras and I did actually bought a mascara last year that I didn't find so I was at a super big affordable store in Sweden and I bought these two and when I came home I found, I found one that I by last year so I bought two new mascaras and you can't or shouldn't have a mascara like forever so I know that I needed to buy a new one and I've also bought some new makeup sponges because you need to change these as well um, so that's everything I bought in makeup wise for skincare I have bought um, well, this one. This is a my micellar water from Lumiere. I do use this to take away my fallouts, and sometimes I use it in my daily skincare routine, but mostly to take away fallouts. And I love this one. Uh, I have tried with another one, but it was like an oil cleanser, and it did mess up my concealer a little bit. So I bought this one, and also a new face cleaner because mine is almost 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 empty so I did buy this one this is from Lumiere the Radiance Boosting Cleansing Foam I don't know what I think I do like foam cleansers but this one it smells a lot it smells good but a lot and that is everything that I bought makeup and skincare wise since January and that is a really really big step for me and it feels so so good and now 
it doesn't feel hard to have this snow by. Maybe I shouldn't say it like that, but it's going great and it's nothing that I think about too much anymore. Sure, there are things that I do really have wanted, but I have been able to do without them. So it's nothing that feels like my world is ending. And I really like where I am in this no buy adventure. Maybe that sounds strange, but I do really hope that you understand what I mean. And I hope that I can inspire some of you if you are thinking about doing a low buy or a no buy. The only thing that I struggle with still is to come up with videos to do. And I think it is combined that I have been working super much and I've been so so tired in the beginning of this year. I still work kind of the same amount of time but um, it's not as stressful at work because yeah one of my colleagues is back and we can help each other out now so that feels really good so even though I work almost the same working hours I'm not like super super stressed and that feels really really good and you know what I do really really like this look I think like grayish looks is starting to be my thing and I don't know where this came from but this I do like it and I don't have that much fallouts but I'm going to take it away the small amount I have and using my micellar water and I have been able to save much more money <laughs> than I've done before even though that I have had a little bit more of an income when I worked so much. Uh, because my income... Is this even funny to listen to you? I am paid by the hour? Or... But that sounds like I'm a sex worker. But I do clock in at work, maybe you say. So I get paid for every minute that I am working and in March I did work 25 hours overtime and I get a little bit more money when I'm working overtime so yeah it was kind of good. <laughs> and I don't know if that that is a reason why I can save more money but also that I'm not spending thousands and thousands of dollars okay hundreds and hundreds of dollars on makeup and skincare each month so that feels really really good and it feels like I think it has been Hannah Louise Poston that has said fewer but nicer things and I do feel that way when it comes to skincare. Now I haven't bought that much skincare, but I am um, more okay to buy more expensive when I'm going to buy. <laughs> I don't know when that will be, in a couple of months maybe. I did empty out my Ole Henriksen sleep in no, I don't know <laughs> I can put a picture of, of it here it's a really expensive uh, night cream and I think it did wonders with my skin unfortunately and just to know <laughs> the prices in Sweden I think in Sweden it is $20 more than it's in the US just you know and um, okay, I'm just gonna check that I really do think that I will 
buy it when uh, the night cream I have now is finished. Do I have one more? The one thing that has been good, like last year I had the Body Shop Advent Calendar, the super big one. So I do have a lot from that one. Skincare wise, I do have one more eye cream, uh, serums, and uh, I think a day cream and an essence and maybe toner as well. So that is good, so I don't need to buy it. And it's... I don't know if it's fun or <laughs> if it is like hard to realize how long I can go without buying new skincare. <laughs> and now the white balance I think is going a little bit crazy. It doesn't like when I put on my foundation. And I'm so longing for this foundation to run out. I'm using the e-strop from Fenty. I do really like it, I do. I think it's really good and I like how it looks on my skin and I like how it feels but I'm so bored of using this and only this and I have <laughs> quite a few foundations in my drawer that I want to use but I'm not going to open them until this is over. I don't know how much it is but it is really really light so I don't know how much I have left but I'm so longing for it to run out. And do you see my ears? They are super red. I had... I'm making... Ramen soup. And... Uh, I was listening to... And they usually do my ears really really red. And I don't know if there's going to be some strange cuts in this, but... My memory cards are messing with me. Now I have my normal one, or my better one, my more expensive one that is a little bit faster. Before I had this one, that it was a cheaper one, and it turns off after like seven minutes because it's too slow and it has cut me off a thousand times. And when I put this newer one in, or the better one, the camera said it was no card, but now it's apparently working. So I don't know. And another thing, I think I need to buy a new computer. And uh, because the computer I have, I have, I have had it for a couple of years, and it's going to. It's kind of slow. It works to edit videos, but it is uh, kind of slow. But at the same time, I don't want to spend a lot of money on a new computer. But I guess that I... I'm soon going to have to do it because... I, I think my computer is... On its breaking point soon and if I don't have a computer, I cannot <laughs> upload videos. So I don't know what to do. And I am kind of warm, a little bit red in my face because I have had to close the door in here because Ines can't like leave me alone if it's open. And even though that I have the window open, I have three lights. I have one softbox, one light panel and one ring light and it is hot. And the air in here is not that good either, but I am afraid if I open, Ines is going to come in here and uh, she usually shoe on the microphone, which is, which is not super good when you are trying to record a video, but she like doesn't seem to understand that, so I need to have the door closed, but then if I faint, you know why and you know who to blame. And another makeup thing that I soon need to buy a new one is a new eyebrow 
wax or eyebrow um, something to set my eyebrows because mine is soon empty and I need one because I have super long eyebrow hairs and I think I'm going to buy the NYX control freak again because I do really love that one and I haven't been using it for ages so I'm actually think that I'm going to buy that one and that will be soon maybe not this week maybe next week I wonder what I do want for blush to this I'm going to at least start with ombre and if you wonder how the cats are I know that a lot of you also have cats or have pets and we people that love animals and have pets we like to talk about them like it is our kids because of this but they are doing great. Astrid has turned two uh, now in April and uh, yeah, they are doing great. The only thing with Astrid, she is starting to do a new thing that we don't understand why and we don't know how to make her quit. But when we have gone to bed, um, she starts to scream in the living room like really really screaming like the first time we were so afraid that something was wrong with her so i like ran out of bed and found her sitting on the living room floor and just looking at me like oh you're awake it was nothing but she screamed and yeah she is deaf so uh, she sounds not like a normal cat, but that sound wasn't like the normal Astrid sound either. And yeah, I don't know. She's done that now. I think she just wants us to not go to bed because it's... <laughs> yeah. It's not light, but it's not like super dark when we go to bed. So I just think that she wants us to be up, but it's a little bit annoying when she can't hear us because we can't call on her because when Ines is screaming at night you can just call on her and she will come and often she just wants to cuddle but Astrid and I don't know what's up with her she has done this for a couple of weeks now maybe she is just in a period when uh, it's just her new normal thing but it's a little bit annoying and she really like yeah, you know when a cat sounds ill it's almost like that and but it's nothing every time we have gone up it's nothing so now we have stopped going up and she stops after a little while but we're like are the neighbors do they wonder what we're doing to our poor cat because she's screaming like that? I don't know. Okay, I will curl my eyelashes for once, put on mascara, something in my waterline, and a lipstick, and then I come back. So, I am back, and for my lips I did took Rapture from Lethal. I do really, really like this red. <laughs> it has like a little bit of a... I wouldn't say blue undertone, more like a purple undertone, but maybe that is the same thing, I don't know. But I do really really like this red and I do really like this look and I hate when the names are on the back. I did use Rats, Poopy. And Ponus Balonus, I think. <laughs> but I did use these three. And it is a really nice look. I do really like this grayish brownish. And 
I'm more intrigued to use this more now when I used it because I thought that this color was going to be so boring but I really think it's really nice grungier color so yeah I'm really happy and this shimmer was really really nice and I don't know why I waited since December to use it but I guess that's just me so yeah that was all for this get ready with me and my fourth update on my no buy and it just still feels really good and it actually feels right now that I can do this um I was a little bit like I don't think I can do this but I'm going to try but now I'm like it has been four months a uh, third of the year has gone by and it still feels really good and I think it even feels better than it did before so I'm happy maybe because I actually have bought something and started to run out of things I maybe think it can be that that I bought some things even though I haven't bought something new I have bought some things that I need and also like this primer that I've been using for so long and um, this is not available anymore I think they did take away the whole high glass line I don't know why because people loved it but I have been really liking this one but I'm so sick and tired of it so I just wanted to begin to another primer but I'm trying to use a primer and use it up and the same with this skin tint from Fenty. I just want it to be gone because I just want to take one of my new ones and this concealer I just want this to be gone as well but it's going to take a while but I just want to use some other base products. I don't feel like I need new base products I just want to take base products that I already have because if we're going to take foundation for example I have three maybe four with this from Nabla I don't know oh, there it was a lot of dust but they have these three that I haven't opened yet and I really wanted to get to one of these instead of just using this one but I'm getting there even though I do really like this I want it to be done so yeah that was all for this video and my fourth update and I think I'm going to try to do an update each and every month and try to mix them up a little bit and if you have any suggestions on what you want me to do for this updates, just let me know and I will try to do that. do that. So yeah, I do really hope that you have liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see how it's going for me from week to week, hopefully. So yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!